this is a real nerd paradise right here. This is the Curtis Emerald, trademarked Emerald, electronic surge protector from the mid-1980s. Do you see how long this is? This is a long, 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 long cord. And it is seriously, they're not, they weren't messing around with this here product. The amazing thing about this is that I had my Apple IIc plugged into this for about seven million years because we had that computer forever. Um, lights on indicate normal operation. Light off indicates fuse or circuit failure. The, um, the Curtis Manufacturing Company was in Peterborough, New Hampshire. And the design of this was pretty awesome. You could hang it on a wall, but we never did. And we probably would have been served better in my parents' house if we had because this is just a simple kick switch. And I cannot tell you how many times in the 1980s that the howling sound of misery and defeat emanated from this very throat when I would be fiddling around on the floor because it was on the floor and I, uh, uh, and there's no like, there's no like saving on an Apple IIc. You know, there was no, like, saving your work. I mean, we had an external floppy drive, but that was few and far between for this sort of thing. And anything that you were trying to use, like a program that you were programming, gone. Anything that you were writing most likely was gone because there was just not a lot of, there was not a lot of ability to do the savings that one would be able to do automatically today in something that wasn't, oh, Bank Street Writer, the whole program of which was 1K, which was a f just a phenomenally astounding, huge uh, amount of, of data and material. So this was the sound of, of utter misery and failure in the 1980s. That was it. And it was just so easy to actuate this that, you know, it was cool when you were when you were trying to turn it on, but the thing, so you could just, you know, you'd be like, boop, kick, and, and then that would start your, your day, um, but it was, it's much harder to turn it on than it is to turn it off, which I think was also part of the general belief that I had that this, um, um, that this Emerald brand electronic surge protector, which looks a lot like one of those ghost traps in Ghostbusters. So it feels a lot like Peter Venkman. Um, I have some kind of slimer in here. Um, and now it's going to go to uh, a different home because uh, if I was to plug something current into this, it's still perfectly usable. It's nothing but six wonderful three prong, you know, surge protected goodness, but if I was to actuate this kick switch almost 20 years later, no, almost 20, 25 years later, oh my god, I am so old. If I was to actuate this switch accidentally while I was mocking something up in Quark, or I was photoshopping, you know, whatever project, I would probably rip my face off and then glue it back on or I would use this to tie it back on.